the Motorola Razr 2020 5G. It's a homage to the original Razr series from my past. And you can tell, it is very well implemented to make an old school design look modern. But today's video is more about if you want to experience a folding phone like this, is this the one you should consider seeing how the prices are dropping because of newer releases. So let's talk about the experience on the Motorola Razr 2020 5G. To begin with, I suggest keeping a few things in mind when you use a folding phone like this or any phone that is similar to this folding technology. Let me explain how. The rounded curves on the frames simply makes it hard to get that grip on it. My recommendation because of that is to simply open it with two hands. Because when you open it with one hand you have to be careful as well because having to push your nail on the display that is covered by plastic Possibly leaving a mark because of your nail isn't very confident inspiring. Hence, it's not something I deem compatible with the regular users. Though, granted, they probably even wouldn't look at a phone like this. Alright, sleek exterior out of the way. Let's talk technology. Giving credit where credit is due. The foldable feature of this phone is of course a stunning technological experience. But there are some sacrifices with for instance the quality of the camera on the Motorola Razr 2020 5G. It simply isn't the best for the price itself, especially when it was new. Don't get me wrong, a lot of folding phones have that same issue, but this one you can definitely tell. The camera can provide some decent quality images though. If you are good at photography, knowing the limits, it can definitely take some beautiful shots. But for those who want the best camera for the price, this isn't it compared to some other phones, especially if you are paying for a normal slap phone, yeah, those will do better. Adding in the fact that you are limited to only one sensor instead of having an ultra wide or a telephoto. Granted, this is fixed with the latest version, however, we are of course talking here about the 2020 version. And then we have battery life. I think from what I've told you, you can probably tell battery life isn't going to be good. Being honest, you are lucky if you make it till the end of the day with the Motorola Razr 2020 5G. Folding technology simply takes in space inside the phone. But wait, it isn't all bad news. Let's say we look at the competitors here. For instance, the Samsung Flips. We can see there's a much larger display on the outside when folded in. And we all know what a bigger display offers us, right? A better overview of messages, full screen videos and so on on that smaller outside display. And of course, the viewfinder for the camera is also much easier to then use that main camera to take images of yourself. Not great ones, but you know, it's still better than a selfie camera. Now, while the Samsung Flip series does give a more premium feel to the phone, the small radius and the tight fold for the Samsung series, however, does come with its own problems. Well, yes, there are far more sales for the Flip series compared to this Motorola, it is clear that more and more you are seeing reports of those folds and flips having a crack line in the middle where the phone folds. This almost feels more like a when will I get it rather than will I get it. Where with the Motorola Razr 2025G and of course the newer version as well, the folding mechanism is quite different. Yes, it doesn't feel as sturdy and as strong as what you get on the flips, but the crease itself is quite a lot larger. Not only doesn't it stand out as much because it isn't as deep, but also it should work better for the longevity of the folding mechanism itself, at least the display part of it. At the end, the Motorola Razr 2020 5G might be cheaper now, but it is without a doubt a phone you get for simply that experience, not for the best experience. So at the end, in this shorter video about the Motorola Razr 2020 5G, if you truly want to experience a folding phone, I think the Motorola Razr does make some sense, depending on the price you can get for it, but mostly what you expect for it. If you simply want to join the club of a folding phone and you mostly want to use it for that, then I can see a use case for that phone, and especially for a phone like this, with the software experience that I truly like. But if you want a better experience, if you want for instance a better camera or a phone that makes it easily till the end of the day and compete with the latest mid-wages or even better, then this really isn't it. While the Motorola software experience makes up for it to a degree, with some useful features, this without a doubt is a phone you should only buy if you want to experience the folding technology rather than having the best phone you can get for the price itself. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Motorola Razr 2020 
5G. No, I haven't experienced the latest version of the 2022 version, but this is more of a phone where I feel like if you want to experience an older version of it and you want to experience that folding technology for a cheaper price, this might be for you. So this is why I made this video showcasing what I think about it after using it for a while and of course what my opinion about a device like this is. I will have to say I'm much more careful with the phone than I would like to be but that's also because of how I have to open it with two hands and the one handed use simply doesn't work that well when it comes to opening it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to of course leave a like, subscribe and so on and talk to you guys in the next. Thank you.